Yum. <clears throat> Yo, Chaos Squadron, it's your host, Shadow Terios. How you living? And welcome to another Chaos Stream. Oh, wait, you know what? Hold on. You know what I forgot to do? Forgot I had therapy today, so yep. I gotta fix that. Hold on. Totally forgot. There we go. Much better. All right, so I'm going to say that again. <clears throat> Yo, Chaos Squadron, it's your host, Shadow Terios. How you living? And welcome to another Chaos Stream. Hope everybody had a really good weekend. Hopefully your Monday went okay. Uh, once again, I just want to thank everybody out there. Oh, that reminds me. I got to retest this. So bear with me a second. I'm retesting this because I re-uploaded it with a different volume. So hold on, let me do something. Oh. Interesting. It's still coming through... Really loud. Hold on. Because I deliberately turned it down is the funniest thing about it. But apparently. Let's try this then. Okay. Now I'm going to try it one more time. It's still coming through really loud to me. That's so weird. What the crap? It's like it's not adjusting the volume at all. Crap. What, 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 what's, what's going on, sound alerts? What's happening? Oh well, it is what it is. Whatever. I'll just leave it as is. It's fine. It's totally fine. So, again, thank you everyone who came and showed up. And show it out um, over the weekend for the charity stream. I'm still really heck and mecking proud. You know, I'm gonna stop saying heck and mecking because I said heck and mecking because I was saying heckin' a lot. But I didn't want to seem like I was copying Swift. But you know what? Now it's an honor thing. So I'm gonna start saying heckin'. All right. I was so heckin' proud of everyone coming out and being so supportive and just showing up and showing out. It was a beautiful turnout. I'm still kind of geeking out about it that, you know, um, once again, you know, Swift has pushed me to do something out of my comfort zone. And when I went and did it, not only did it go well, but it went way more than I could have expected um, and hoped for. So, like, I'm super, super grateful. But we're back on to normal territory for now. Anyway, I know I owe y'all some streams. And don't worry, we're going to do it. It's just that I know for this week, I'm going to be really busy with work. So I don't want to start doing those heavy streams that are now guaranteed to the channel yet um i want to get through the holidays and everything first and then i'll be able to start planning on when i'm going to do that i already know two of them are probably going to happen in january because i'm going to be doing a little bit more sonic this coming january because i'll be doing a little bit of a sonic month um with a friend of mine uh, we'll talk about that as we kind of get more plans in order so i hope y'all excited for that i know i'm excited for that like holy shit but anyway I'm not gonna talk y'all ear off. Let's go ahead and get into the game. Let's play some Dragon Ball Z. Where is my button? There it is. And play. Is there a shortcut for that? No, there's not. Piccolo! Piccolo! Okay, Gohan. I'm off on another adventure. <laughs> you can have all sorts of adventures. Is it me or is it just not keeping up? Hold on. There it is. Now, if it's gonna start doing that, I'm gonna have to fix something right quick. All right. Hey! There you go. Long I don't know why it always rechecks that every time I go into this mode. Hey, yeah, hold on. No, something's wrong here. Hold on. What do you say? Should we have some adventures in the world of Dragon Ball Z? My friends and I have plenty of experience with intense fighting. Let's try it like this. Okay. Did we do this one? Yeah, we did. Okay. So, yeah, we are definitely in Frieza Saga. There we go. Oh, you know what? I can actually update the audio now because, remember... 
we found out the other day that the reason why the game was overpowering me so much was because my audio had gotten mixed up. Destruction of planet Vegeta and the senseless slaughter of his beloved friend Krillin. Goku's hidden potential has at last awakened. Yeah, we could put it on there. There we go. I forgot. Cause we found out we found out, out last week that I actually my desktop audio for some reason got cranked up to the nines. And so it was like, why is everything so loud? And that's why. Hopefully somebody can let me know in chat that they can hear the game really good. Let's see, now my Goku's ready for this. Goku time. I tried it. Get out. Yep, I saw that coming. Yo, what's up, Matt? Thank you for coming to the stream. Matt, can you let me know if the sound from the game is good and not overpowering me? I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, I was like, why doesn't it let me go any further? I had one hit on him. He's dead. That's why. Tried it. Can you get up? I'm about to say, I wouldn't either. Die. <laughs> okay, why is it showing a bit of the... Hold on a second. Uh... Why is it showing that? It should not be showing that. 
is showing that little tippy tip. And I don't like it. I don't like it. Hmm. How can I fix this? Hold on. Mm. I might have to just do that. I don't like the way it looks on the bottom. No, it's still showing it, actually. What the fuck? Alright, hold on. Let me see something. That's not doing anything. Why is it showing the bar up at the top? No. I don't want that up there. Like, I, I really don't. It's really bothering me. Hold on. I mean, maybe it's a way I can fix it. Hold on. Show toolbar. I didn't do squat. Okay. Show toolbar. Okay. Is there a way I can take out the bar up here? That's what I want to get rid of. I don't understand why it's showing this. It didn't show it before. Right? There we go. Okay, I see what the problem was. Okay, that was gonna bother the shit out of me. That's why I had to fix it. But then, now that we fix that, what if I stretch it to window now? See, this is why sometimes it pays just to you know, use the native console. Yeah, it's still not doing it. Fuck me in the ass with no lube. It's fine. It's fine. This is fine. This is fine. It's fine. It has the annoying little black bar still, but whatever. Is there really no way I could fix that? Anyway. It's whatever. Oh, yeah. Let me give you a shout out right quick, Matt. That button. I Make sure y'all follow in our wonderful Say So Pegasus at V2 there. I feel like that was way fucking overkill for like Please three, and thank you. Like, trash, like for fucking three trash ads. There is no such thing as overkill. There and is, but it's still. The sooner we get past them, the, so the, the, the sooner their suffering ends. You know, I love that I've taught Maddie so well. There's definitely such a thing as overkill, but oh, it's I fun like, sometimes like to do overkill, so overkill is valid. Same. You know? We'll see I forgot to read that. Goku sends Frieza's movement and asks Gohan and the others to take this chance to retrieve the Dragon Balls. And with Vegeta, Goku challenges Ginyu and Jace to a battle. Except. Goodbye, Kakarot! Vegeta! Gotcha! I'm playing Fallout 76 with my friend Lulu. Lulu! Tried to level up my Goku a little bit while I was away. Oh, no, you don't. That was that was a good switch up. I actually like that. I like how I did that. 
it leaves a little bit of room to get it leaves, it leaves a little bit of room to get hit but <laughs> Just kick to the face. Blah. I was trying to think those numbers d must not mean much because, like, I swear, you should be way more stronger than me. No match for Goku's power. Captain Ginyu uses body swap technique to steal Goku's body. Meanwhile, having completely tricked Goku, Vegeta has a freeze a spaceship. But what's down here now is not the story. Oh, hey, Dende. Oh god, is Vegeta built good? Ah! Ah! Get, 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 Gohan. Because <laughs> I don't like playing as um, Saiyan Saga Vegeta in this game, honestly. No, give me the other Vegetas all day. Shit. I can do that too, though. Oh, God. Ah! Hi, Spirit. Thank you for coming to the stream, and I hope you're enjoying some time with your dad. No worries, no worries. Don't press yourself, or don't, don't worry yourself, right, is what I probably should say. Matt's also here. How many punches is it? One, two, three. There we go. Aw, oh, shit. Ah! How do you like it, you punk? Mmm, gut punch. Duh, duh. <laughs> This is the end for da 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 You should have let me get close to you. Castaways. Boom. Woo, all them hits. Nope. I will not allow it. Nope. Mine came out faster. Let it happen, dude. Which would you think the mining abilities for mobile? Just my opinion. Now, see, there's a, a opinion about Twitch that I can agree with. Unlike everybody else who's just being kind of ridiculous. I'm like, oh, yeah, if somebody were to say that they need to fix the mobile, that I can agree with. Not even a question.
And see, I can even say that as a fellow mod. Because it would be nice to be able to, like, if somebody really needs a mod, to be able to pop in, like, if I'm out doing something, I'm not at work or whatever, but I'm out doing stuff, I could pop in right Oh, God. To help. There we go. Woo! We cutting it close, boy. Freaking frame perfect guards. Wow. Nope. We just can't touch it. Oh God, no! No, that's death. Damn it! Ah! Uh, whatever game. Damn it! I hate it when there's an enemy where they're set up to spam. It was in between spamming. Ah, oh, well, I guess I, I guess I really can't say that because I was kind of doing the same thing. But I also do other stuff. I, I don't know. Let me shut up. Well, I already did this. I'm not going to... I should have did that, actually. It's okay. And Goku's body, Ginyu, accompanied by Jace, made his triumphant appearance. But still unused to his new body, Ginyu was cornered by Gohan and Krillin. A low class like Kakar could never become a super saiyan. That's an honor reserved for the elite. <laughs> All right. Okay, thankfully against these two, Gohan will be more than enough. This is to actually uh, accurately portray Ginyu and Goku's body where he's got a low level. Ready? Yeah, teleport when you're freaking blind, you ass. Yeah, you like it. Damn right I am. Fell what? <laughs> so I knew at that point his scout was broken. But he wouldn't be able to detect me behind that rock. Solve that problem. Oh, no, you don't, Goku. 
You can't block those, Goku! That actually hit him. Damn. Alright, he didn't go for the blind move. Yo, what's up? Shout him off. Thank you for coming to the stream. Clearly, clearly, bleh, clearly Krillin is dreaming because ain't no way Goku losing to him. But that's not Goku, though. That's Ginyu. There's a difference. At the end of the fierce battle, Goku regained his body, but his injuries were severe. Desperate to recover the Dragon Balls, Vegeta heals Goku to aid in the fight against Frieza. Vegeta worked with Krillin and Gohan, but when he stopped for a brief rest, the dragon appeared. Krillin and Gohan outwitted the Saiyan Prince and summoned the dragon to grant their wish first. Infuriated, Vegeta goes after them, but a much more terrifying evil is also on the way. All right, let's see. That's the shop. You know what? I already know this is probably going to be one of the Dende ones. I'm not doing it again just because. Oh, it's not actually. It's a Sabaman. Uh, nah, I read a progressive story. The sooner we get through the rest of this story, the sooner I can get a better version of Vegeta. Frieza is determined to end Vegeta and the Earthlings meddling once and for all. Frieza! Let's begin. It's been a while since someone has wished me goodbye. Here comes a... I, I don't understand how... I don't understand why Linda Young always mispronounces it in the games. You're going to pay for this, you maggots! I'm going to kill you nice and slow. Actually, you know what? Maybe she's not mispronouncing it. Maybe I'm just hearing it wrong. Side Frieza, you're in for a rude awakening. Come on, if you think I'll go down that easily, you're sadly mistaken. Didn't you decide to say that? As Gohan and Krillin prepare to as Gohan and Krillin prepare, fuck. As Gohan and Krillin prepare to face Frieza, Vegeta sets his aside. Give me a second, y'all. As Gohan and Krillin prepare to face Frieza, Vegeta sets aside his pride to join them in battle. There we go. This Vegeta is not ready for this fight, though. Oh god. This is not good. There 
If I was ready for this fight. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Oh, I did! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'd never get tired of that. Yes, Vegeta needs it, bruh. That Vegeta, especially. Vegeta, <clears throat> Vegeta believes his increased Saiyan powers now rival Frieza's own. Brimming with confidence, the Saiyan Prince announces his victory. Transform, Frieza. Go on. Why don't you transform and show us your true power? See, even in this freaking saga, Vegeta was already doing this shit. It's like, uh, no, we're out. But very well. If you're really in such a hurry to die, I'll show you. Frieza transformed. Is there any hope of victory for Vegeta and the others? All right, let's see. I wonder if we've gotten the next thing in the item shop. You know, no, we haven't. I can already see the, the miniature card up there. Hopefully soon we'll cross a point to where I can actually buy better items. With the power of his transformed state, Frieza was a nightmare come to life. I mean, Vegeta, did, did, is this not what you asked for? Ready? Ow. Fuck! So you should have kept blocking instead of teleporting. Oh no! The invisible Lord Frieza taken down by a mere child! <laughs> oh, just kidding. See, I wanted to try to hit you with something fun, but you had to be a little asshole about it, so... Against Frieza's unimaginable power, the mighty Vegeta was rendered helpless as a child. Elsewhere, Piccolo discovered another Namekian warrior, Nail, on the verge of death. Piccolo fuses with him and gains the incredible powers of a almost super Namek. I say, he's not quite super Namek yet. Not yet. Ooh, that felt good. I think my Piccolo was ready to go. And to demonstrate. Ready?
Yeah. See, Piccolo ready. He ready for them hands. I thought I would go through it. Still doing good, though. I say, no, don't get up. Stay over there. Yes, he Piccolo ready. He ready for them hands. He even more ready for them hands. Come on, Frieza. As all hopes seemed lost for Vegeta and the others, the newly transformed Piccolo appeared. Sorry to keep you waiting. Piccolo! Now then, how about I clean up this trash? I'll do it alone. You guys keep out of it. Mega! Yes, the way she says ma, that makes it sound like she's saying maggots, but it's actually maggots. Okay, all this time I thought she was saying it wrong. My bad, Linda Young. I should have expected more out again, Kai. I apologize. What? Breeze, don't make a lie out of me. I said I was ready for these hands. Yeah, I said, no, no, no. I said, get down. There you go. Huh, huh. Huh. Piccolo demonstrates that his new powers are not to be taken lightly, but Frieza is unafraid. You really think that was the full extent of my power? What? 
Frieza surprises them all, announcing that he has two more transformations yet to make. But I have one that's fresh and ripe for abuse. Transformation. You're the first to see this transformation. And spoiler warning, it's not getting old anytime soon. Can Piccolo stand up to this evil foe? Might as well go ahead and just get into it. Let's get busy. Frieza socks the Z Fighters, revealing his third monster's transformation. And I think Ridley Scott's going to sue somebody. Now let's try this again, shall we? I appreciate that in this Linda Young as Frieza did change the voice for each form like she did in the show. It's usually just the same voice all the way through, but like during dialogue, she does try to, you know, gruff it up depending on the form. I just appreciate that. Ready? Well, way to make it freaking story accurate. Stand there and gawk at me while you're powering up. I know they do that a lot in the show, but you shouldn't have done that. That was a little bit more work. I'm not even going to lie to you. Even with his new, he's not a super Namek yet. Even with his new Namekian powers, Piccolo is no match for Frieza in his transformed state. As a last sight before they die, Frieza announces he will show them all his final form. Now witness a power more fearsome than death itself. Vegeta intentionally suffers a near fatal blow and is revived by Dende's powers of healing. In this desperate manet, blah, 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 blah. in this desperate manner, Vegeta hopes to raise his powers and become a Super Saiyan. Well, no, that's not true. Once again, Vegeta challenges Frieza. Has his plan to become a Super Saiyan succeeded? But I am what you truly fear, a Super Saiyan. You are not dealing with the average Saiyan warrior anymore, Frieza. <laughs> Please, have you gone insane with fear? A Super Saiyan blah 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 blah, I get it. Do you slay the Jabberwocky and went on to save Narnia? Hit. 
Fuck. Woo! Okay, so it's one of those. Okay. Should have done that. You go take a swim for a second. Oh, no, you don't. Yo, what's up, ghost? It's not even so much the death beam itself. It's the way that he keeps doing it. But it's all good. We, we got it. At least with us taking a beating, though, we kind of made it accurate. I don't know, I feel kind of bad for Genius. But yeah. It's like, you kind of don't feel bad for him because he had the shit coming, but you kind of do feel bad for him because goddamn. <laughs> Frieza's final form proves unstoppable. His spirits crust. Vegeta loses the will to fight. Piccolo and the others can only stand in awe before Frieza's nightmarish power. However, a light of hope still remains. Goku! But yeah, no, but, but, like, Frieza just went overkill. <laughs> It's beating the shit out of that man. He ain't even need to do him like that. But that's Frieza for you. Finally recovered from his wounds, Goku emerges stronger than ever. Raccoon was on him, but Frieza going out of his way to prove Vegeta was anything special was what? Yeah, exactly. It's like, it's just the fact that he, he wasn't just beating him. He was like, no, I'm going to make sure you understand before I kill you that you ain't shit. <laughs> You're not dealing with the average Saiyan warrior anymore, Frieza. He has become... A Super Saiyan, yo! Hearing Vegeta's scornful laugh, Frieza strikes down the Saiyan Prince with his death beam. Silence! I'm in no mood for any more of your jokes! His consciousness fading, Vegeta tells Goku the terrible truth of the planet Vegeta's fate. Fearing the rise of a Super Saiyan, Frieza had destroyed planet Vegeta and the Saiyan race. Lend me some of your Saiyan pride. Let's finish this! Alright, here we go. 
the match of the century. Ah, oh, fuck. I ain't gonna lie. I'm so glad that after this, we're gonna be Super Saiyan. Because honestly, base Goku in this game is not all that fun to play as. I'm gonna be honest with you. Couldn't afford to at least have Frieza lose his finger. I don't know. Yeah, like base Goku in this game, like his moves, he and he feels so slow. I'm just like, bruh, I'll be so glad when I can go Super Saiyan. Copycat. Ugh, ugh. I can't remember if I have to fight him again as someone else first. Goku's strength has increased immensely, but there seems no limit to Frieza's power. The only chance for victory is a spirit bomb. Can Goku gather the energy he needs? I'm sure I could have used a spirit bomb on him. I was like, eh. Eh. Yeah, we fight him as Piccolo, probably. Okay. The Piccolo's combos at least are really fast and fluid. Goku's in base form seems like it's like moving underwater. <clears throat> as Frieza moved to stop Goku from gathering energy, Piccolo and the others intervened. P Piccolo! I'll hold him off until your spirit bomb is ready. It'll take time to charge it for five minutes. And considering how bad he was kicking my butt, I'm sure you'll do fine. Yeah, the energy he needs. Well, it would be a very different series if that failed. Yeah. The Z fighters concentrate their remaining power and challenge Frieza to a final match. Phenomena, do 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 do. Phenomena, do 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 do. Phenomena, do 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 do. I'm a charge in my attack. You just hold a grudge and I just keep getting reminded of my failures. You mean your failure at killing me or just in general? Fuck. I can do that too. Of course you're not gonna let me do it. <laughs> but I can do that too. Freeze. Boom. We finally have it, y'all. Ah, oh, oh. Now to have some real power. It's so stupid because the Piccolo, because he doesn't have any like transformations in this game, clearly is built to where like he is like ready to go out off rip. But like clearly there are characters that are like really meant to be played in higher levels because most of the series they are. 
like Goku and Vegeta. It's like their base form, especially especially Goku, because at least Vegeta has different forms. Because Vegeta Scouter and Vegeta and the Cell Saga are two totally different Vegetas. So it's like his improves as the series goes on. So his, his that Vegeta and second form Vegeta is what they call it, I think, for Boo Saga is a lot better to play as because it's a lot later in the series. But Goku stays, it keeps his base Goku for the entire game on this one. That's one thing I do give Tenkaichi 3 over 2 is that there are three Gokus in that one. You got early Goku, you got mid Goku, and then you've got Boo Goku. And like mid Goku is definitely a great one to play as. I mean, Boo one is all right too. It, it has its, it has its moves and stuff, but yeah, no, mid Goku is like the best one in there. But early Goku is also really fun to play as because it's meant to be just for that art. So like his combos are still really good and loose and stuff. You know what I mean? It's uh, it's kind of a shame that they only got that done in three. But you know, <clears throat> as Frieza is crushed by the spirit bomb, the Z fighters believe the battle is won. But is it? No, Frieza! Pre-rendered? Yeah, they knew they had to pre-render this one. Did you really think I'd let you go? I'm going to crush you all like the insect you are! for this. Yeah. You've killed so many innocent people already. I'm going to break you like a Kit Kat bar. Oh, I'm so happy to finally get to play. I'm finally getting Super Saiyan. Oh, oh, I feel good. Oh, I'm about to have so much fun. We got to play with this a little bit before I even go into it. We got to play with this. We got to play with this. Hold up. Is Kui over here? I'm about to fuck your shit up. Yeah, I'm about to fuck your shit up. Yeah. Ready? Remember the moves are. Oh, yeah, he got the meteor smash. Yeah, baby. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. You fool. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking, baby. Now Goku ready for them hands. Oh, he got the wild sense. Yeah.
Yeah, see, I had to do this fight to get a little bit of warm-up in so I can know what I'm doing with Frieza. Because it's been a minute since I used this for him. Yeah, even even got the secondary throw up in there. Pick you up and throw you into the sky. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Frieza. I am the hope of the Omniverse. I am the light bulb in the darkness. I am the bacon in the fridge for all living things that cry out in hunger. I am the Alpha and the Omega. I am the terror that flaps in the night. I am Son Goku, and I am a super Saiyan. <laughs> Fueled by his rage and Frieza's terrible crimes, Goku has transformed into a Super Saiyan. To good nightmare to you. <laughs> That's the one line they never reuse in any of these adaptations of the Hope of the Universe thing. But I'm sorry, even in the original dub, when he said that, I was like, "That's the coldest line ever." He's like, "I fucks with the good, but to you, I'm death." It's like, whoo! I think it's a dubism is what it is, but I mean, essentially the point is the same, no matter what, but it's just nice to hear him say that. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, he got to get one of these. How do you like this? Blah. <laughs> Said it right before, I guess. Yeah, dang. Hundred percent transformation or ultimate transformation. That's how we get final or hundred percent final form Frieza. Unable to defeat Goku, Frieza launches an attack aimed at destroying Planet Namek itself. In five minutes, this planet will be destroyed. Five minutes is more than enough. I love the fact that Team Four Star actually considered doing um that fight in five minutes, but like it would have suffered so much if they did. As the battle raged on, King Kai used 
the Dragon Ball to transport everyone but Goku and Frieza safely back to Earth. Now, Goku and Frieza are alone, locked in an epic struggle to decide the fate of the universe. Sorry to keep you waiting. This is the full power that you wanted. Now, see, a lot of people say Goku, what the fuck, when he let this happen. And I'm like, all right, I do agree that, you know, Goku, what the fuck. But same that Frieza did to Vegeta, where she was like, no, I'm going to make sure when you lose this, that you know there's no question you could not win. And it's like, when I think about it like that, it's like, I get what Goku's coming from. He's like, no, when I beat your ass, I want you to be able to sit there and realize that no matter what you did, no matter how power, uh, no matter how on your scale you were at, you still could not beat me. There's no time. Let's get this over with quick. He's like, he goes 100% and still get his ass beat. It's like, all right, look, there's no question. You can't sit here and be like, oh, like, you, I was a controller or I was in my full power. It's like, no, you were, and you still got your ass whooped. <laughs> and I mean, if you think about it, Frieza carried that shit with him for the rest of his existence. Like, in death, coming back from death, he always carried that. That even though, even though Goku wasn't the one that killed him initially, Trunks was the one that killed him, but Goku was the one that wounded his pride. Goku's the one that made him sit there and take that shit and would have killed him. Like, it's like, it, it, it hit different. I never cared about this one. Now, the Sensu being the Cell, that's a different story. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, that's a whole different ball game. It's like, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I feel like if Goku gave him the Sensu being after gohan transformed or something i don't know how that would work but if it was after all right fine whatever because we know even then he's still outclassed but that's that was that was a risky move like that was a risky move at least see, like right here when goku let him power up to 100 percent, he was already a super saiyan he already knew that you can go to 100 percent. i'm still gonna beat you but gohan was only super saiyan he was not super saiyan 2 yet so it's like mm, but all right then again, I guess Goku also knows that for Gohan with his past his ways, he would have to get pushed really hard. But that's still, that's still, mmm. That, mmm, mmm. Planning a little bit of work on that. Ready. Oh shit. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Like, Trunks turned Super Saiyan, and all of a sudden, it wasn't the game no more to Frieza. He was like, oh, this is whatever. It's no big deal or whatever. And the minute he seen that gold hair and them eyes, he was like, oh, no, 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 no. I don't want it. I don't want it. I'm destroying, I'm destroying everything right now. Fuck this. Oh, no, nah. Frieza. No, you got to let me have it. You got to let me have it. You fool! <laughs> I'm like, no, Frieza, I got it. I have to. I have to make it canon. <laughs> I forgot about the angry comment. I was like, no, I got to finish him with that. I got to finish him with that. Along with the planet Namek, and Goku was feared lost as well. But when those on Earth called upon the Dragon Balls to bring back their fallen friend, they were informed that Goku was still alive, flying through space on his way home. Will Goku make it back to Earth safely?
All right. To this moment, I still can't believe Frieza actually tried it. Yeah. Yeah. He 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 tried it. That was not a smart move, but he tried it. All right, we finally have a different card. <laughs> Which Z item do you want? Is this okay? We have many others. 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 Hey, I thought so. There are three slot ones. I thought there were, but I wasn't sure. Okay. We have many others. Okay. We have many others. Anything else? Fun? Which Z item do you want to sell? Is this really all we have anymore? Anything else for you? Which Z item do you want? Is this okay? We have many others. I think I'll do for right now, Baba. Thank you. I want to see something. Wow, really? I can't do that? Ah, uh, I was hoping, bruh. Oh, well, that's fine. Actually, wait. Like, who gave you everything. Warned you about your own attack before it bisected you. Gave you a chance to get off the planet. And gave you energy to do it. And you still mess it up. Exactly. I mean, some, some people just can't learn. Actually, wait, let me go back in there, actually. Hold up. I'll see something. Definitely need to put... I don't I don't think kid go hunt well actually that's what I'm about to get into actually so hold up Let's see yeah I'll go ahead and give him one Yeah, but I'm pretty sure but, but, no, we got to do Garlic Jr. So that's all kid Gohan. And we got a little while before we get the team Gohan. So. Wait, shit. So yeah, no, I, I need to hook my boy up. Soon, though. All right, Piccolo's actually good. I don't really need to do anything with Piccolo. Krillin, I don't think Krillin gets into a lot of fights from here on, so I'm going to leave that as is. 
Not yet with Trunks. I don't need to worry about them. I don't need to worry about Bardock. And actually, yeah, Bardock's got a full stat anyway. I don't need to worry about any of them. I don't want to worry about them. Them. Yeah, no, I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. Pretty sure this is a short one, though. Long ago, sealed within the death zone by Goku, Garlic Jr. finally escaped. Really, it was by Gohan, but Garlic Jr. has used the Blackwater Mist to turn mankind into monsters. With Goku's whereabouts unknown, it's up to the remaining Z Fighters to confront this new threat. And the fate of the Earth now rests on the shoulders of Goku's young son, Gohan. To defeat Garlic Jr., Gohan will have to summon all of his power to destroy the Makio Star. Or we could just let Piccolo do it. Not Piccolo, uh, Popo do it. Ha! We're going here a little early, but... Want to hear about the time I took an entire Battle Ball team at the same time. Wait, is he kidding? Nope. Ugh. Well, this ought to be cathartic. Ready? Yo, what's up, Godrif? Oh, look at Godrif taking your line, ghost. <laughs> That's funny. I don't know why I did that. Did I watch Doctor Who? Hey, I still need to watch that myself, actually. That was only worth it for the level up. So many good things about it, though. Yes, one through four are good. So thanks, Tien. Yo, what's up, Morbid? Thank you for coming to the stadium. Let me give you a shouty right quick. Y'all make sure you check out the lovely Franklin Queen herself, Morbid Obscura. It's Morbid time. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. I know this clip. With every Christmas card I write. Ooh. May your days be merry and bright. And 
And may all your Christmases be white. So see, a lot of y'all know that Morbid got it when it comes to the, you know, the mommy energy and all of that when it comes to the voices. But what y'all didn't know is homie got the vocals for days. Like, Morbid, I would legit be like, yo, let's do a, let's do a, a track collab together. I don't know when, I don't know what, I don't know how, but I, I would do it. And see, you know what the crazy thing is, y'all? She did that on a regular-ass headset mic while she was on her PS4. And it still sounded that good. Talking about something she can't sing. Girl! Girl, I go to karaoke on the regular. I know when somebody can't sing. <laughs> that right there, that was singing. That's what I'm saying. So I'm like, yo, I would get on the track of Morbid. I would. Dead ass. Uh, that wasn't fair. Oh, no, you don't. Music be the food of love, play on, play on, play on. I like the way you work and no diggity. Nope. Flash you in the face. get my stuff oh my god it's gonna be lit yo but what song will we do that was the question i have ideas but oh bet i got a supplement set well i can go sell that shit give me some more zinny I'm go get this zinny baby in fact i'm gonna do it again i ain't beat him good enough i'll do it with shadow yes i think it'll be dope I just don't, I just need to know I need to meet somebody who is like a good mixer and like recorder and can t can like tell me what I have to do on my end for it to work and stuff like that. But other than that, I'd be so down. Well, definitely, whenever I'm able to come out there and visit you, I would definitely be like, yo, we got to go hit some karaoke. Yes, I do remember that. Irish Goo Goo Dolls would be great. Wait, what? I do love some Goo Goo Dolls, actually. I actually have done a couple of Google Doll songs in karaoke. I've done Slide and Black Balloon. Technically, we, if, we, if we want to count Treasure Planet, I've done that too. I mean, that was the lead singer. I want a moment to be real. Want to touch things I don't feel. Want to hold out and fix the rubble run. On 
joins Miss. Just let it happen, bro. There you go. I don't know why you're trying to hold out. Just let it happen, bro. Boy, the computer's know to be loving to grab, boy. It's all right. Fuck you! Oh, Iris Goo Goo Dolls. You know what? That, thank you for reminding me, Godrift. I actually forgot about Iris, and I need to learn Iris. That's the one I actually don't know. Like, I know it, but I don't know how to... I don't know the... I couldn't sing it. Couldn't perform it. So, I actually will try that. That is actually a really good song. It's a classic. And I don't want to have to sing Cause I don't think that they understand When everything needs to be broken I just want you to know Ooh, yeah, I gotta learn that. Oh, man. That's a good song, man. Kudos to you, Godrift, for pulling that out. Yo, that was my childhood, bro. That was literally my childhood. It was Goo Goo Dolls, Matchbox 20. I hear that shit all the time on my favorite radio station back in the day. Having long ago been imprisoned by Goku within the Dead Zone, the sinister Garlic Jr. has managed to escape. Now, as his first act of revenge, he has invaded Kami's lookout and taken the Earth's guardian captive. With Kami out of the way, Garlic Jr. has released his Black Water Mist, a vapor which turns humans into monsters. Oh yeah, I gotta fight all of them. I forgot. Friends enjoyed a happy reunion at Master Roshi's Island. Transformed by the black water mist, Master Roshi and Yamcha suddenly attack the others. Why? Don't hurt them, Gohan. Somebody's making them do this. Thank God to give me Piccolo. <laughs> I was about to say, I was like, oh, I'm a little nervous here, actually. But I was like, but no, nah, I should have it with Gohan, but I ought to give me Piccolo, too. Bet. I ain't got nothing to worry about. I got this. Why don't you fuck shit up? Especially against Yamcha. I ain't scared of you. There you go. No, you don't. This is for trying to put me in the freaking rice cooker. Poor Roshi. That was not fair. I'll beat that old man fast. <laughs> I'm trying to put me in that rice cooker. Knowing that these monsters were innocent human beings, the Z fighters were reluctant to harm them. Um, I beg to differ. I beat the shit out of them. Unable to defend himself. I broke Roshi's glasses. 
Breaking Roshi. Ah, like father, like son. Yeah. Yeah. Sins of the father much. He tried to put you in a rice cooker, so you put him in a box. <laughs> Yo, hold on. I gotta, I gotta pause that one. That was good. That was good. <laughs> uh, yep, I put him in a box. I didn't give a fuck. <laughs> oh, I'm weak. I'm weak. That's what a sobbing man is, isn't it? No, I don't need to fight that again. That's probably still TN. I just so appreciate that this one's story mode actually plays kind of like Budokai 3's story mode, but better because it actually has cutscenes. Gohan and the others fight their way to Kami's lookout, where they meet an unexpected foe. If you try that evil containment ways to pick a little counter with from the cradle to the grave. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're not wrong, though. Oh God! <laughs> the range on that motherfucker! God damn! Grab you from damn near across the stage! Oh shit. Wow! Oh! Damn, Piccolo ain't playing. Aw, oh, fuck. God damn! Close this gap up. Shit. Motherfucker really trying to kill me. Yeah. Woo. I saw him about I saw him gearing up for that grab. I was like, no, sir. <laughs> He's not trying to kill you. He's teaching you to die. Yeah, he was teaching me to dodge. All right, God, Lee. Woo! Hey, that was the first time I actually kind of sweat. I was like, oh, God, he's going to beat me. First hand experience. Gohan's respect for Piccolo prevents him from fighting with his full potential. <clears throat> Gohan's respect for Piccolo prevents him from fighting with his full potential. When I left you, I was but the learner. Now I am the master. And now, in an effort to protect Gohan, it seems Krillin has become a monster as well. The way they played is almost so smart in that, in that, like, look, this definitely was not a needed story, but I gotta say, that was kind of slick, though, how they had to switch the tables. I remember when that shit happened. I'm like, oh, Piccolo with the smoothness. That was clean with it. Catching Garth Jr. off guard with his clever ruse, Piccolo succeeds in rescuing Kami. Now free, Kami and Mr. Popo race off on a dangerous mission to retrieve the sacred water. Time has come to defeat Garlic Jr. once and for all. Just stop using all your minions, man. You wanna you wanna talk all that head crazy shit? Come run these hands. Fun fact. What's up? Did 
they did not capture Mr. Popo. Safe yeah, no, they didn't. His lookout, Tommy used a sacred water to reverse the effects of the black water mist. Because Popo knows he got involved, it'll be over in a heartbeat. He need to go on to get stronger. I'm gonna let Gohan go first. Pine side versus pine side. Let's get it. Pecking order. Yo, side note. When Dragon Ball Z first came out, you know, we didn't have the original Dragon Ball yet. Did anyone else think Krillin was a child at first? I thought both him and Gohan were kids until until I realized this motherfucker really outran that shit. All right, I'll, I'll run it when you're right in front of me, you dumbass. Yo, Crow, what's up? Thanks for coming to the stream. I will hide it as soon as I finish beating this punk ass's well ass. Shit. Can one of my wonderful mods give a shout out to the Moonlight Mage there? First it goes you, the dirt, the worms inside of the dirt, Popo stool, call me, Din Popo. And a finish. Got him, red dot him. All right, hold up. I got it. Oh, wait. Have you not streamed? Well, you know what? Go follow me anyway. We support the homies around here. And Crow is definitely a homie, so we support the homies. I know they also uh, definitely do recordings of them playing games on YouTube. So if nothing else, go to their Twitch page and... Follow them and then look at their YouTube. I haven't yet because my OF. Huh? Has he died for a while? Oh, it'd be like that. You say OF, I thought you meant OF. Which I'm like, hey, look, we support that around here. <laughs> First, I have to be careful saying the word because Twitch puts fix up my laptop. Oh, okay. But yeah, just check out their content. They're really cool. They love Mortal Kombat. If you, if you love Mortal Kombat, then Crow is going to be one of your best homies, okay? Right, that's what the Twitter is right now. It's all about Mortal Kombat stuff. Occasional other stuff, but mostly Mortal Kombat. You know, I respect it, though. I respect it. It's a problem. But, you know, you talk about a lot of things that sometimes are really interesting. Because, see, some of the things you talk about with the, with the reboot, with the Mortal Kombat 1, I don't even know. So it's kind of cool to hear about it. So, yeah, what's your who's your favorite? My YouTube is just horror. Well, still though, check them out. Check them out. Horror is good. But yeah, who is your favorite um, Mortal Kombat character? Enraged that his plans had again been foiled, Garlic Jr. attempted to seal his enemy inside the dead zone. And that's where he fucked up. Go on, they're in the sky. Melina main. A. I mean, look, Melina. Melina d d listen. Melina did be crazy with the combos. I ain't mad at you. I'm more I'm more a katana person myself. Um, when I play, if I'm gonna pick one of the ladies, it's katana. But uh, Melina's cool though. But yeah, lore wise, let me go ahead and get the hydrate in right quick. But I will say this though, Melina with her combos, especially, it's like. It's like Katana will beat your ass. Melina will embarrass your ass. <laughs> she be rolling in the balls and stuff like that, and just teleporting, just popping you upside the head. It's like, yeah, you feel a certain type of way when you get beat by Melina. <laughs> Shang Tsung or Lao? Good choices. Good choices. Am I allowed to choose Omni Man? What the hell? Garlic Jr. was vanquished. The Z Fighters had once 
See, they even have Buddy to model Kami in this thing. But they knew better to leave out Mr. Popo. It's like, oh no, we gotta model Mr. Popo. If we don't, if we don't model Mr. Popo, we got a problem. But yo, listen, Shang Tsung is a great villain, though. Dead ass. Like, I really enjoy when they brought him back for Eleven. That shit was fire. And the fact that he was voiced by the dude that played him in the old movie. Hey, he came. <laughs> I was fully attacked. That shit was fire. Fun fact, y'all know that the dude that plays Shang Tsung in that old movie and his face model, exactly. And then they brought back to do the, the, the face model and the voice in Mortal Kombat 11. That was the dude that was Johnny Tsunami's grandfather. Y'all know that, right? That shit was, when I realized that shit growing up, I was like, what? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Your brother's soul is like, like, that shit was wild. I was like, I could never look at him and say, I'm like, this chill ass dude that I would love to hang with to get a drink on a Saturday night was running around here talking about something, your soul is mine? Bruh. <laughs> You can't make this shit up. But the way he voiced him in 11, whoo, I was hinging on every word that man said. He's like, Sindel, death becomes you. I was like, whoo, hey. Shoot, talk, talk to me nice. They probably didn't bring him back for Mortal Kombat 1, though, did they? Ready? Oh, shit. I'm fighting Jackie Chun. Oh, shit. Shit just got real. Oh, so the new one is good, though? Well, see, if you love him and you agree, but if you say that, then that's definitely saying a lot. Oh, okay. I dig that though. I love it when they'll get somebody to play the role, but like they'll study the old role because they know they know how iconic that role is. So they'll find ways to make it their own, but at the same time, they still pay respect to who did it first. I love that shit. Now, why is it not let you transform? Is my question. Hold up. Oh, so, oh, I have to select. Oh, okay, okay. I get it. I get it. Well, now it worked. I don't understand why that transformation didn't work. I'll have to play with that later. Let's do some research on this. Probably the Cyberman. Yep, but good practice and I can get more money. It's all good. All right, let's see. Yo, thank you, Crow, for coming by. I appreciate you. You're such a sweetie. A cutie and a sweetie who definitely has some bite where 
when someone gives you a reason to, they'll fuck around and find out. But as long as they stay on your good side, it's it's clean. Simple and clean. Ha <laughs> ha. time. When you walk away. I still can't believe I said, well, okay, I can, but also can't believe I sang that on stream for y'all, but it was for Swit, so I don't regret it. But I, I never thought I was seeing that where somebody could actually hear me sing it, particularly people who know the song, but I did that shit. PTSD flashback activated by one sentence. Wait, what? Did I say so? Oh no, did I did I really flash you back? I am so sorry. What did I what did I say? Oh. You miss you miss King of Hearts? Yo! You bought that King of Hearts life! Oh, we have even more reason to be friends then. Hey. Hey, listen, I love Donald. I love Donald and y'all know this. Donald saved my ass a bunch of times playing that game. I forgot the song existed. Ah. Simple and clean is the way that you're making me feel tonight. No shit, Yamcha. All right, time to move on. See, unlike Tenkaichi 3, years ago, as Frieza destroyed the planet Vegeta, I love how in this game, you can go, if you, once you unlock everything, you can go back to do the story mode just for kicks or whatever. And not only will you have your stats, so you're like really overpowered for most of the story, but like you could transform. You can go Super Saiyan 2 against Raditz. Fuck it. You know? I love that shit. You can't do that in 2 Kaiser 3. You gotta play it the way it's intended. And I'm like, okay, and the first well, well the first time I'm going to have to. But like after that, let me have my power trip, bro. His older brother Cooler stood by and watched as a lone Saiyan space pod escaped towards Earth. I remember that shit. It was like Frieza's the one in charge of this quadrant. Let him clean up his own mess. I've got seven planets to destroy by the end of the day. Why should I allow myself to run behind schedule just to cover his mistake? Besides, it's just the same child. He's no threat to us. It's like, no, you don't underestimate those motherfuckers. That's what your brother did. <laughs> Years later, when I really am just like my brother. Yes, you are. You are literally a rehash of a core villain of the franchise for a movie. Cooler vowed revenge and launched an immediate assault on the Earth. Oh man, Saul's about to sit here and spam his energy wave. I forgot about that shit. I'm Goku. Get away from Gohan. I mean, you can still get a power trip with the cheat code variants. Not in story mode, though. So you're the one who defeats Frieza? In story mode, at least from what I from what I remember, you were stuck playing as however it was intended and freaking you would and like you would they will put you in fights where like you cannot do anything against the opponent you just have to just live long enough for you to get that r3 prompt and i, I hated that shit it's like no give me at least somewhat of a fighting shit like even in this when i was fighting against characters that were definitely stronger than me it's like i still have a chance as long as i know how to play the game really well even if they can hit harder than me and they have better defense than me. I can still do it. Just gonna be really hard. In that game, there was nothing you could do until the game decided to let you. I hated that about that story mode. The elite soldiers of Cooler's armored squadron attacked without mercy. 
I can't stand. That's why I don't like Tank HD as much as two. Gameplay wise, I will say it's a little faster and a little more refined. I do like that, and it has some other stuff added in there. But then also they took a, they made the rolling hammer a situational move that characters can do. So like some people just have it on their out of the four little uh, triangle moves you could do mid combo. Whereas in this game, it's just an extra thing that certain characters can do. So like it's not counted as a combo. And I know why they did it, because they realized, oh, you roll and hammer, you could do an infinite combo like I did with Bardock. And then, yeah, but I, I don't, I don't know. There's a lot of things I like about this game more than three. I gotta stay on top of him. Here, here, here we go. Basically, that's how I knew this to stay still and just wait. Shouldn't have ran up on me like that. Oh, I think I might have broke the back. My bad. Actually, I probably broke it earlier. I might have snapped it back in place, actually. I don't know. Having backed Goku into a corner, the armored squadron moved in for the kill. When Cooler himself suddenly appeared. Fun fact, when I came up with Chaos Squadron, I didn't think about these guys. I was trying to think of another word besides army. I didn't want it to be obvious. I was like, I don't want to do army. I could have said platoon. I should have thought about that, actually. But I don't like the way that sounded either. And then I remember Cooler's Armored Squadron. I was like, squadron? Oh, wait a minute. Frieza. Gohan, stay away. I remember it's like, Gohan, go back. This isn't the best place for you right now. This isn't the best place for anyone now. I will say, Cooler has some cold ass lines, no pun intended. Sacrificing his body to save Gohan, Goku took a direct hit from Cooler's attack and was lost from view in the fiery blast. With Goku safely hidden for the moment, Gohan snuck out in search of a sensu beam to heal his father's wounds. Unfortunately, at that time, Salsa was out on a reconnaissance mission. All of them were, but, you know, this is before they had finally decided to include the um, rest of them. Who do you think would win? Cool's Armor Squadron or the Ginyu Force? Armor Squadron. No problem. No, no, not even. Like, well, hold on. Let me think. Uh, hmm. You know? Yeah, because see, even though I feel like the Ginyu Force and Cool's Armor Squadron are probably around the same level of power, Armor Squadron is definitely more serious and like just get shit done. You know, they don't be playing around with it and, you know, fooling around like the Ginyu Force. So yeah, no, I, I gotta give it to Armor Squadron. They will fuck them up. The only thing the Ginyu Force has on the Armor Squadron is numbers, but even then. Thanks, Chao Tzu. Totally know that already, but you know. That's going to be another Sabaman. What's this? I'm going to go see the king right quick. Probably going to apologize for my dad. I don't want to talk to you, Yamcha. I might want to talk to you, Yamcha.
Oh, this is just this is just cathartic. Armor squad is definitely stronger power level wise. Fewer hacks, but they're able to run him with stronger versions. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yo, what's up, Angel? Thank you for coming to the stream. That's also true because yeah, they were running hands with Goku, who had already dealt with the Genji Force and already left Namek supposedly because you know alternate timelines. But yeah, no. Nah. Oh fuck. Ah, gotcha. And they were going up against Piccolo, who was definitely way stronger in this movie than he was in the Namek Saga. By the time the Ginyu Four showed up. Because Piccolo hadn't even come to the planet by the time they were still there. So, yeah. Yeah, no. Armor Squad didn't got it for days. Almost immediately, Piccolo appeared at Gohan's side to stand against Salsa. Yo, from Namek? Gohan, take care of the sensor beam. Thank you, Piccolo. Thank you for shouting yeah. out, Shadow Angel. Piccolo oh, orders Gohan to deliver the sensor beam to <laughs> Goku the soap. and challenges Salsa to battle. <laughs> is that soap or is that wood? See, that is soap. soap. Did that's you bring soap. wood? No, that's soap. That's I soap. I disagree, sir. That's that so I've heard people say Ginyu Force stuff. wins because Goto oh, stops time like after Vegeta had a It's a yeah. fucking prison. They don't have good soap. Yeah, All right? it's like weirdly I like out it in the shower. It's soap. Ew. We, oh Wait, god, not soap from a prison. Nah, nah, nah. Come on, guys. We all watch the Boondocks. Yeah, it's a very old clip. But yeah, check out their content playing that labyrinth. Yeah, no, go to stopping time. Yeah, no, listen, that don't mean shit if you could run up on somebody and just chop their head off. Listen, like, stop time can be broken like that, but not go to. As a matter of fact, wasn't it like. Wasn't it like. Oh, fuck. With um, Gordo, it was like, as long as he can hold his breath, time has stopped. So there's a flaw right there. Now you talk about someone like freaking Shadow the Hedgehog, who it's more based off of how much energy he has, Chaos Emeralds. That's a different story. Now I can see how you could say that, yeah, no, somebody ain't gonna be able to beat him, you know. But Guldo, he gotta breathe at some point. Yeah, Ginyu's body swapping might, but that is a bit. Oh, fuck you, my dude. Got him. Or not. Oh, screw this. I just wanted to use Hellzone Grenade. Which would make no sense given where in the story we are. You ass. You loathsome cur. With his strategic attacks, Piccolo proves to be more than an even match for Salsa. More proof that Armor Squadron would run them hands. Yes, because in the stop time, it still doesn't save him because once he uses it, he's vulnerable. There's like, oh yeah, that's right. So it's not even like chaos control where it stops everything. It's just that person. Or what? Okay, chaos control can be selective, but it can also just do everything at once. It all depends on the user, how much power they have, chaos symbol, blah 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 blah. But yeah, gold though, it's select targets. So yeah, no, fuck that. Oh no, <laughs> armor squadron could kill Gudo, no problem. 
excuse me. Zosa, go after that brat. I love how even though this is regular cooler, it still has the filter on his voice. Yo, what's up, Aurora? I need to change the name of that redeem or that redeem that um that command. I gotta change that to update it to your new name. I was giving you hell about updating your name, but I ain't even updated it on there. Damn. <laughs> but yo, what's up, Aurora? How was the rest of your stream? How did it go to collab with Phasmo? Can we get a shout out for Aurora as well, please? Another lovely friend of mine, but actually one of my IRL friends, who was a total sweetheart. Unless you give her a reason to not be, then you'll fuck around and find out. Um, is the IRL Ruby Rose for those? I got my um sussy art. Oh yeah, I saw it with Maple. I saw y'all talking, but I haven't seen it yet. But I uh, I remember her bringing it up. So. So, yes, y'all should all check out Aurora's content and also check out her spicy art on Twitter. It is about it is about the lewdest thing you're ever going to get out of her. So you need to go um, check it out. The mirror would be sitting in one of the chairs. And then Why that the, close uh, plan? I'm going to go look at it right quick. I'm curious. Okay, circle. I'm sorry. What? That is an old model of theirs, though, also. Why am I dead? Did I accidentally do nightmare mode? No. No, this is intermediate. Is it? Yeah. I'm dead. Oh, I I swear to God, I am dead. Woo! Damn. You touched a puppet. And I was gonna hear Very bold, Aurora. I'm impressed. Aurora. But this no, does not mean don't. that I, uh, she is not still a safe so streamer. She is. I, it was for the I charity. I know. Maybe it's this main hallway. You fucking killed me! Yeah, it was for a charity. We hit a charity goal. Or she hit a charity goal. So she said she'll do it. So, yeah, don't get it twisted, y'all. She, she's not about that life on stream. In one terrifying instant, Piccolo was struck down by cool surprise attack. And we do support those who choose to be more safe. So because, you know, there are some people, even adults, that don't want to really deal with, you know, lewd stuff. So they need a good place to go to to watch some entertainment. And it's streamers, or, it's streamers like Aurora that really kind of help those people out. And that's why I don't choose to become a full-on lewd to I know I use a tag. That's for reviews. Okay? I want people to be able to come find me. And let's face it, that's a popular tag. But I will never become a lewd to it because while I don't, I don't feel a need to shy away from it when it comes up. It's also it's not it's it's also not everything that I am. I'm more than just lewd stuff, so that's why I would never go full lewd to it. But when it comes up in context, hey, it is what it is. <laughs> so love you, Aurora. I'm glad you had a good collab. Sauza continued his pursuit of Gohan and stealthily tracked him back to his hiding place. And that's why I try to behave myself as much as possible when I'm on Aurora's channel. Of course, some people, chat, what? <clears throat> Make that really hard to do, but I try. I try my best. But there's certain, you know, white-haired fluff balls that make it very difficult. And as Aurora puts it, someone has to put up with them. <laughs> No, we love him. Honestly, we do. No one, no one wants to talk to you, Yamcha. Go somewhere. Ah. It is Chao Su again, I swear. Damn it! Fuck out of here. Ah. Well, let's go ahead and continue the story then, because I already know the other one's a Sabaman. As Gohan waits for the Sitsu Bean to take effect on Goku, an unwelcome guest suddenly appears. So that's where you are. Actually, he showed up before he gave him the Sitsu Bean, because they had the bag, and he blew it up. And while Krill was fighting him, Gohan had that extra one in his um, Gi belt. But, you know. Oh no! He found us! No! Uh... Well, if we're going to go canon, it would be Krillin. Hmm. But I want to do Gohan. I want to get this over with. I want to get the Goku. Ready? I 
I stay on top of you. Oh, but I can start spamming that fucking energy wave. No, no, no. Playing peak, I see. Yo, what's up, Dubkun? How are you? Thank you for coming to the stream. Woo. Eat this. You had a perfect opportunity to go and use your energy wave and you didn't use it. I'm all right. Um, I did have an issue with my car today. So oh, now he does it. So that has me a little sad, a little sad, but I'm trying to figure out a way to make it work. Probably gonna have to finally just go ahead and buy that car. Is that a Super Saiyan snack I see? You're the Super Saiyan snack. I don't know what you're talking about. What's up, Cosmo? Thank you for coming to the stream. Yeah, appreciate it, Ghost. Ugh, it. I don't think I'm done with that truck. Like, I might, if if we're able to, because, like, it had a really bad oil leak, and the mechanic who worked on it should have noticed that, and they didn't, or they never said anything. I don't know. So we're going to see if they'll do something for, like, on the low or cheat, but we'll see. Actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, shout out for Cosmo. Hey, well. They, like me, Green, love some Genshin Impact, hello. but they also love Honkai Star Rail, Honestly, too. Honestly, in my opinion, like, they really should have made it where, like, we can actually, like, actively see Paimon following us around. I agree. Kind of like how I've got my, like, little bird thingy. I want to see Paimon like, go with us on the regular. that. Like how the how the bird just kind of chills there. They should have done that. With, or at least turn uh, it or where I can turn it on and off. I agree. That should be lit. Maybe it's a lot. I don't know why. But anyway, yeah, make sure you're checking out Cosmo, our adorable Discord space kitten and cat boy. Um, like I said, they love some Genshin. They also love Honkai Star Rail. One of these we're going to do a collab on Genshin. I swear we're going to do it. Speaking of Genshin, just a reminder, everybody, we are going to go back to Genshin this week. Because a new update is coming this week. And of course, you know, your homie has already signed up for the stream event. Can't wait to get back on it. We're going to get that Navia. And then we're going to prep. got to pre-down saying, I already got it re-downloaded, ready to go, baby. <laughs> so as soon as that update hits, stream is coming. Yeah. Hopefully, we can go ahead and get Navia really early on with only low amount of wishes. And then I'll be ready. I'll be ready for her. My queen shall receive her ultimate power. <laughs> and hopefully I can get that. Um, I hope I can get her weapon. I hope I can get her weapon. Pie myself in the element of entry. Bum, 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 bum. It's a wonder I don't have that song on here as a button. I should probably do that. I was so annoyed, baby, with how much we make him watch the Genshin category. Yes, I, I have a lot. Like he, he talked about that the other day. It's like I love that Bay cares about us so much that even though he can't fucking stand Genshin, he watches our streams, make sure we're good and everything. And so it's like in his top three categories. That meant a lot to me when he told me that. I was like, that is so sweet. Honestly, that is so fucking sweet. Thank you, we should really, I should really post my um, Twitch recap. I keep forgetting about it. Time to clean up the rest of the trash. Hmm. Yeah, Enormous power level. Who finally revived? I remember that shit in the movie. He was like, I'm picking up a power level that's going off the skill. But the Saiyan was barely alive. And the only one in there was that pig. It couldn't be the pig, could it? And then in um, the upgrade was just like, Sakura Blue, ha can it be the legendary super swine? I was just like, bruh, there really be others that would want to help or anything if it wasn't the game they couldn't stand. Yeah, I know. Now we're about to unleash the power of gun. Exactly. So fun fact. Um, also, I'm pr I think we talked about this on stream at one point, but I can't remember. Um, but there's something I forgot to, I, I forgot about. The fact that thanks to Sonic Forces, Gun is not a thing right now. In the games, in the game story, gun is not a thing right now. Eggman fucked them up. <laughs> when Eggman was just running shit in Sonic Forces while Sonic was away, he took them out. 
or as he put it, put them in their place. Um, I, I read that the other day and I was like, oh shit, that's right. He fucked over gun. Damn. <laughs> I mean, let's face it, without Sonic and them, what chance does Gun have against Eggman? Come on now. Even in Sonic X, he, they couldn't take him. You know, so I'm not surprised, but it was just like, damn. They really did that. <laughs> Revived by the Sensu Bean, Goku comes forth to challenge Souza. You have been... This has gone far enough. Leave Earth now while you still can. So, you finally showed me. I love how Cooler still has a filter like he's meta cooler, even though he's regular form. I love that. Go. Let me see the power of a Super Saiyan. But you know why? Because the same reason why Cell sounds like um, Imperfect Cell, no matter what. It's the same reason, because it's one vocal track for the whole thing. It's still fun in Space Colony Arc, right? I... Uh, I don't think it was more so gun, but more of the United Federation, but essentially, yeah. So, oh, thank you for the stretch, Crow. I actually probably should do that. Uh, mm, uh, mm, there we go. I mean to go night night. I have to be up super early. Have a fantastic stream. Have a good night, Angel. I'm probably going for too much longer because I got to work tomorrow too. Cooler and Salsa. Is there anyone who can withstand these two terrible foes? But they have something in reserve. Well, see, that's the thing, though. They didn't know about a lot of stuff that was going on on the art. That's kind of why Gun did what they did in the first place. And um, I, don't, I, don't know, I don't know if they ever knew about the Eclipse Cannon. I don't think they didn't know about the Eclipse Cannon. I know they knew about Product Shadow. I know Gerald gave them the Gizoid. Or Emerald to buy time for Project Shadow, but I don't know if they ever knew about the Eclipse Cannon until after the fact. I have to research that. I have to remember. But even if they do, it's kind of like how you know you would think that they would have something to take on Eggman, but they don't. You know, it's like. I guess it can't be helped for them that they just ain't about that life. That had to hurt his face a little bit. Fuck. I'm gonna be nice to you and I'm not gonna transform on you. You're not worthy. You're still not worthy. You're still not worthy. Oh shit, Dragon Ball. Ooh. No, fuck off. Fuck off for a second. If you don't back the fuck off. Thank you. Ugh. I don't think Gun is smart enough to pull that off. I really don't. Fuck. I gotta, I gotta beat him because I got the last Dragon Ball. Just fall, just fall. That's gonna hit. Ugh. Got 
Gotcha. Why did you like Sega? Sega. One more for the road. Thank you for the uh, the uh, woo. I reworked it so that way it, it has a little bit more volume to it. Oh hell no, you don't. Are you shitting me? Oh, fucking hell. Wow. 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 That was such a computer thing to dodge that whole fucking spirit bomb. I'm pissed now. See, now I don't give a fuck about Ken. I'm about to just fuck their asses up. That was a clip. Oh. Now what's up? Hey, fuck the Dragon Ball. Damn. Ah, damn it, I couldn't go down fast enough. What's up? 
Fuck around to find out, Cooler. Do what you uh, did to your brother. In true Saiyan fashion, Goku recovered from his wounds stronger than ever. Salsa proved no match for Goku's might, to Kula's great annoyance. Let him live? Damn, you right though. Kula has surprised Goku with the announcement of his transformation. What form will he take? And then, sure enough, being just like Frieza, you should be pri you should feel privileged. You will be the first one to witness this form. First you will see, then you will die. Just like same shit, different day, bro. Stand up to Cooler's ultimate transformation. I'm gonna plant me a dumbass tree. Consider yourself honored. You'll be the first to witness my ultimate fall. Okay, fair. Oh, this is about to get nasty. Ah, hell. Whew. Now that was just stupid cooler. Ah, oh, shit. Ow. Go on, hit him, my lightweight. Oh wait, fuck this. Go on hammer the shit. <laughs> oh, that was the last fight? Oh man, I was holding back because I thought I was supposed to have another fight as a Super Saiyan. Oh, I would have fucked him up. Oh man. No. No. Oh, we gotta do that again. We have to do that again. No. As promised by his man, we gonna, we gonna skip all this. We gonna skip all this. We about to do this again. No. No. Save them for your son, Goku, probably. Damn. I thought it was going to be another fight where I would have... Oh, uh, that's... No, no. We got it. No. No. Yeah, we got to do that again. That was not at all what I expected it to be. Damn. Save them for you, son. Goku, probably. I mean, literally. <laughs> Now we gotta do that shit again. Damn! Shut up! Let's get shit over with.
There we go. This is how it's supposed to be. Yeah. Yeah. How you like this? Where's the bird? I'll call you Toriyama. Toriyama, no! You were taken before your time. Bring around to Rosie. go as promised cooler's ultimate form proved to be far more terrible than freezer's but even so goku refused to give up like his brother before him cooler underestimated goku's resolve a fact he came to realize only too late unable to withstand goku's super saiyan powers Cooler was overwhelmed by the blast, completely annihilated. Kadoom! Guys, I did it! And so, peace was once again restored to the Earth, thanks to the Z Fighters. Yeah! Now that's a much better ending. Go on Super Saiyan whooping that ass. So interesting that they're giving us Return of Cooler before we even go to the Android Saga. I think I will save that for the next time we play this game. So we'll probably go ahead and call it uh, from here. Goku Hush, I done fought enough today, all right? I done done enough. I did the old other half of the Freezer Saga and two movies. No, uh, uh, what if scenario uh, filler arc and another movie, I'm good. Uh, I'm, I'm cool. I'm cool. But yeah, let's go on ahead and go back to the chatting screen. My pleasure. I'm happy I was able to do it. I'm glad I was able to do it. I look forward to the next one. Probably tomorrow will be me playing some more um, Dragon Ball Z because I'm pretty sure... Like, I remember correctly, the update starts tomorrow night. But I'm pretty sure it is not going to be done in enough time for me to stream it tomorrow. If it is, then I totally will. But otherwise, it probably will be some more Dragon Ball Z. Um, we will see. We will see. But I appreciate y'all all coming out and hanging out and catching up for a little bit. It was good to see y'all. And let's see what we are going to raid tonight. I'm feeling like handing it over to someone who I will likely be doing something with in the near future and they're doing their collab miss collabs right now so let's do this why don't we go show some love to the one and only miramizu who is playing some plate up with some friends Oh, the cat hey. is blocking my hey, path. Hey, hey, hey. Kitty, on. move. Shut up. Stop the fish. There we go. Did you just tell me to shut up? <laughs> no, I told the fish to oh. shut up. <laughs> I mean, the Wait, I'm no, you're a fish. No, I meant the other fish. The one that I, the one that I tried to catch with a fishing pole. Wow, somebody clip it. I need to clip it. <laughs> no, pretty sure that's no, do um, that. Geysard that. right there. Do that. I will fight you. Yeah, so Geysard is actually in there. Senna's in there. We all know Senna. And Harune Sumire is also in there. A lot of really cool people uh, in there doing the collab. So yeah, but I am actually on the list of people who will get to do a collab with her in the near future. Uh, we're talking about doing some Genshin at some point, so that'd be really fucking lit. 
Um, they're probably new to Genshin, actually. So, yeah, the fight must have been legendary. I know, right? <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to go ahead and start that raid. Support Nira. And I'll see y'all in the next stream. Remember the name, because where there's light, there is Shadow Terios. Chaos is power. This is the raid message if you're not subscribed to me. This is the raid message if you're not subscribed to me. And uh, soon we should have those updated emotes. Um, I know Yuki's almost done with them, so keep that in mind as well. So, yeah, I'll catch y'all next time. Bye, Ness. For those of you who are new to the channel, we always end with a good hearty chaos control in honor of our teacher, shout out the hedgehog, and the teleports to the next streamer. I'll catch you next time. Stay safe out there. Chaos control!